Hey. <coughs> How are you guys? This is going to be another Wii Hacker Homebrew Guys tutorial. This time, it's how to load GC games with cheats. Because Gecko doesn't do that. It does it for Wii games alone. So, I'm just going to start this by getting rid of these. Getting those out. And the materials you're going to need is the game you game you want to cheat. A memory card for the data. Um, game. And cube controller, Wii emote, Wii hacked with whatever version of Homebrew Channel. Flash drive or SD card for storage for the apps that you're going to need, which I will put in the description. So let's get this started. I'm just going to get that to the Homebrew Channel already. You're going to need the, the installer for Wii Gators C M I S O. I'm not going to actually install it, or I might install the update. You're going to have to have also fake signed ISOS 36, 24, and basically anything you want after that. So we install, we'll give us this message. Just click one when it starts. Most menu, set the revisions, yes, install, can't change that, you cannot change. So, and then you get this from the internet, from we hacking internet setups and whatnot, so we'll just wait, and then you just press A and it will install it, and then we'll be done. Okay. You're going to have to remove all GameCube hardware when you're doing this. So, and you're also going to need a Gecko mod, an app called Gecko Mod. So let's load that. Oh, my memory card inside of here. Oh, I forgot. Ah, I forgot about that. I should probably show you guys what sheets I will be using and how this will actually work. So let's plug in this and let's see if the GameCube controller gets. This. And let's use the Wii mouse to go the rest of the way. Okay. So you go to ASO Hacks or whatever it's called. You go to GameCube. You go to. If you're playing Kirby Air Ride, it would be K. You go here, press that. It will installate the network and get the codes for the GC. And then you download. So Go back, go to the start menu. I'm going to turn off freeze timer. Now there will be little notes that may come with these. And yeah. So let's press B to save the TCT file. Let's go back all the way. You could have clicked home in the cheat file. And you got done with it. So now let's go to Gecko OS mod. And for GC options, you'll want to oh, okay. for the GC options for the hook type, you'll want to put in whatever version of these you want besides for that. Otherwise, the cheats will not activate. So, I put the debugger on for reasons unknown, but you can leave it off if you want. But let's get this started, make sure everything's plugged in. Now, I will be playing City Trials to lock the on timer. I think that's the one that's intentionally used. I will give you this menu. You don't have to press anything. Just patching the hooks so that way you can activate the cheat. Okay, so we are going to set this for once I get everything set up. I'm going to set this for seven minutes. And 
watch the timer when it comes up. Look at the top of the screen. I'm going to press the D-pad down and it should D-pad up and it should work. So now I have real frozen timer, you cannot do this in the game. Now you can do whatever you want. You can follow up the machine all the way, which I do kind of recommend doing, but you want to get a ton of weight first. No way. Trust me, it's hard to do this thing. Like that. So for we have our most god. And if you want to join the Wii hacking tutorial, shop, software, um, app, you can send me a message saying, um, how, what's your skill in Wii hacking, because mine is basically everything besides from setting up new things. I think it's not really that good, plus it gets annoying. And enjoy. Now, about the Wii and about the game game one. If you want to have Twilight Princess, I don't think you should because last time I looked there was no cheat for it. Or like the GC version anyway. Wii version I know there's a cheat left. Um now for other games that are in the Zelda series, you might want to hack, um, you want to hack Wind Waker, you can do that. You can make it so you have all arrows and all that. Yeah. You can do that. I really don't care. You might damage this, but I really don't care because it's not my death now, is it? Also, the application that out. E M O S of I O S action thing might um break your weed. So be careful when using it. Make sure you have a fixed signed ISO stick. And you like oil off.